This is the JJO Morning Show Podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. All right. A couple in Pittsburgh named Clayton and Carrie Law had a new fence put in last month. The workers wanted to be paid in cash. Sounds suspicious to me. Anyway, so Clayton went to the bank. He took out four grand. I take a Stanley mug. Yeah, no kidding. Instead of that cash. And less than 30 minutes later, their dog ate the $4,000. Oh, no. He ate all of it. Oh, no. Seven-year-old golden doodle named Cecil. Usually doesn't chew stuff up, but he figured, hey, might as well go for it. (laughs) The big stack of 50s and hundies was super-duper enticing, and he just went all in. Whoa. So the what would you do if your dog that you don't have, but whatever, hypothetical dog, uh, ate four grand? What is your approach? Uh, um, <clears throat> can you do what they uh, what do they do What do they do when they oil a horse from the butthole for colic? What do they call that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, uh, I would shoot oil into his butt. To try to get him to poop it out? Yes. Okay. What would you do? Or what did they do? Uh, well, they got a hold of the bank, and the bank was like, hey, this isn't all that uncommon. The bank said they would replace any of the bills as long as the serial numbers were still visible. Are you kidding me? So Clayton and Carrie got to work sifting through some poo-poo. Uh, Cecil did puke some of the cash back up. Oh, wow. But to get the rest, they had to wait for him to relieve himself outside, collect the half-digested bills, wash them, and look for the numbers. <laughs> so each bill was like putting together a tiny little poo puzzle. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, after lots of hard work, they ended up getting back $3,550 of it. So as long as they could identify it, they got yeah, the, serial the, numbers, full, yeah. the full amount. Cecil's fine. They've already forgiven him. Wow. Yeah. That's a interesting deposit that dog made. God dang. Talking about banks. Why would cash taste so good? Yeah, that is weird, man. See, why do dogs eat money? Yeah, that is weird. Should get it that, happens more often than you think. You should get says. that dog a wallet, and then it doesn't, it can carry it around in a little dog wallet. Oh, that's cute. And then why did they, why, why well, it eats homework too, right? <laughs> exactly. They're laundering money. <laughs> um, because I was wondering, because like you know how cats will chew. Oh yeah. On like charging cords because there's fish oil in it. Oh. Um, I was like, is there something on the money itself that they they like? I don't know. You ever heard the term money hungry? I have. Good. Yeah. It's one of those. Look at all these stories. A uh, woman in tears as Labrador that was left alone eats two thousand dollars in cash. You know, it's got the weird money's got that weird it's smell smelled. to it, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Maybe does it smell like a food product? I don't know. Let's see, money. I got. I don't even have a dollar. Shocking. I have a checkbook. <laughs> I have. There's so many stories of dogs eating money. Yeah. Oh my god! Unbelievable. All right. Well, there it, you go. He was just sitting around waiting for the dog to poo. Come on. Yeah, no kidding. Please poop out a hundy. Every time it, it craps a dollar bill, you're disappointed. You're waiting on the hundies. <laughs> Unreal, dude. Yeah, that's 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 incredible. I've never heard of that much money getting eaten. Uh, PC2. Yep. Here we go. Do you like spaghetti? If you didn't know, today is National Spaghetti Day. Yes, I do. National Spaghetti Day. Isn't it Barilla, the one you're not supposed to eat because the owner's a jack wagon? What's I sp- didn't know we had a spaghetti boycott. I uh, Hang on, I got to check. Yeah, there's the one spaghetti you're not supposed to buy. I think it's Barilla. Because uh, I always buy the green box, not the blue box. Barilla spaghetti controversy. Jeez. Mm. Time to peel up. Barilla can't avoid a class action lawsuit over allegedly deceptive advertising about the pasta's origins. At issue is the brand slogan, Italy's number one brand of pasta, which the lawsuit says can lead customers to believe it's made in Italy. Actually, it's made in Toledo. You ought to get on that suit. Oh, my God. Because I think it's, 
Is Barilla really Italy's number one brand of pasta? A lawsuit says no. Barilla cannot avoid a class action lawsuit. Get in there. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I can't <laughs> type fast enough. I want a box of Barilla. <laughs> Not Italy's number one brand of pizza. You son of a bitch. <laughs> How dare you, sir? I thought uh, there was uh, something was up with the who's oh he oh here you go here you go here you go dude uh, the chairman Guido Barilla rebuked gay families on national radio and his CEO spent five years cleaning up the company's reputation. He's a homophobe, dude. That's oh. that's why people were uh, yeah uh, jamming on Barilla. Homophobic comments. There it is. See, that's how bad I'm a bad gay. I didn't know that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You got to up your gay game, dude. I yeah, I know. Your gay game sucks. I know. I'll. I thought you were gonna be gayer and faster in 2024. I'm supposed to be. <laughs> man, oh man, you're like a uh, class action gay slower. What? Yeah, it's a word. Uh, here you go. In 2013, the CEO of Barilla, one of the world's biggest dried pasta brands, marred an otherwise uh, anodyne interview about the company's legacy. I would never do a commercial with a homosexual family, Guido said live on the Italian station, Radio 24. Not for lack of respect because we don't agree with him. Well, that's okay. I just wouldn't say it. Yeah, it why, was a why, weird why, thing. Why, why just th- blurt that out? I don't know. Gay people love pasta. <laughs> So there it is. Uh, Guido immediately apologized for offending the sensitivities of some people. In the years since his comments, the company has spent roughly $5 million a year to turn around its reputation. Barilla has appointed a chief diversity and inclusion oh, officer. Oh, no. Too, too late, gay hater. Uh, uh, but these efforts, commendable, may not have had a huge effect on Barilla's bottom line. So this was Bud Light before Bud Light. Dude. I do not have a Marilla class action. It must be closed. Oh, okay. It was last year. Yeah. You only time. have a certain right. amount of time. Right. Son uh, of a bitch. Despite lo- calls for boycotts, Barilla's revenue climbed even higher in 2014. Uh, Barilla currently commands about a quarter of the U.S. pasta market, as well as less than 50% of the Italian pasta market. That's incredible. The Barilla case is interesting foil to Chick-fil-A. Far different company that's been embroiled in a few anti-LGBTQ scandals of its own. Like Barilla, Chick-fil-A CEO has history of making homophobic comments. It doesn't seem to hurt the 20-minute wait to get a effing chicken sandwich in this town. Yeah, you know. I, I'm bad at that. I don't know who I'm supposed to be boycotting. <laughs> well, p- mostly because I I really do believe when you really think about what we buy, a lot of it is made by what? Four different corporations. Yeah, yeah. And if you Whereas. dig into any company, any brand that you buy, pretty much any of them, but especially once you start talking about like on a national level, right? Yeah. These mass produced things, you're going to find somebody in the ranks that has opinions that you don't agree with or that support causes that you don't agree with. Okay, so I see the problem here. Yeah. Barilla says uh, its products are made in Italy. They actually say, quote, made in Italy or, quote, product of Italy. Oh, that might. They're made in Ames, Iowa. Italy, Iowa. <laughs> starts with an I. You know, then they call Iowa a little Italy. <laughs> it starts, starts with an I. Not paying attention. So uh, there's that. That's terrible. The Barilla factory is the largest... Spaghetti pasta factory in the world. They make 1,400 tons of pasta a day. That's incredible. In the little blue box, so you gotta you gotta make your decision there, I guess. Yeah, I you guess. want the you want the the spicy meatballs that hates the gays, or do you want the uh, what's the other brand? What's the green brand? Uh, That's one we get. Uh, this the angel hair. What's it called? Yeah, I'm looking. I don't know what it's called. I Make just know the box. Choose wisely. Choose wisely, spaghetti lover. Um, I don't think is it that big of a cremette. Cremette. Oh, that's it. Cremette. That's the one we get. I we seem to enjoy that. Yeah. It, uh, Let's see where cremette's made. Do I want to know oh, these answers? I, oh God. <laughs> These are my favorite deep dives on these freaking companies. 
That's spaghetti. That's about cream at my story. Oh, Minneapolis, you some bitch. All right, in the heartland. All the spaghetti is made in the heartland. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? You think it'd be made in Little Italy in New York or something? Yeah, no. The upstate New York or Boston or something. You know? Yeah, but I feel like they they're all big on like the fresh pasta. Um, Aren't they? James Williams opened up the first grocery store in Minneapolis in 18... Opened up his first grocery store, 1896. He had a uh, passion for pasta. Soon, the pasta was the talk of the town. His little elbow noodle. In the 1950s, Cremette became known as the Recipe Company. Cremette was run by the family until 79, sold to the Borden Dairy Company. Dude... Ma and Pa spaghetti maker is history. The thing of the past. History. Yeah. Yep. But we seem to enjoy it. I haven't found a, a thumb in my creamette lately. So yeah, I'm, dude. I'm enjoying it. <sighs> there it is. Now you've now you can go make your spaghetti decision today. Yes. As you're standing there staring at spaghetti. Barilla. Creamette. What would be a, what would be how you do? I get whatever's cheapest. That's exactly right. <laughs> it's 2024. People, relax. What a complete waste. We are killing it online. Have you guys checked the comments? Of cyberspace. <laughs> Smoke that skin wagon says you guys are killing it. The JJO Morning Show Podcast. We're internet sensations. Johnny and D. Nowhere but JJO. You been in the dollar store lately? Um, no. Is it Dollar General or a dollar store? It's well, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is the only one where everything's a dollar, right? 25. Oh, it is? So they just come right out and lie to my face. No, it's Dollar Tree, but when you walk in, they make sure there's signage that everybody knows it's a uh, dollar twenty. All right, it's fine. Yeah. That's okay. Dollar General is different. That's generally not a dollar. No. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. The dollar stores are a little... Depressing because there's like one person that works there. So like you go down the the toy aisle is like a war zone right now. Yeah. But like people go through stuff and it's just on the floor. Right. Yeah, you're stepping over kids and, and, and uh yeah. all kinds of cheap junk. Uh but I got my little candy canes there and that's what I was after. Anyway, uh you trusted a candy cane sold at the dollar store? It's a plastic candy cane. It's oh, decoration. You say, I wouldn't sure I'd eat any. I'd put anything in my mouth that came out of it. The... Yeah, that's a, that's a, <laughs> wouldn't put it on my skin or in my mouth. Everything, everything Still made. Still talking about your mom? Everything that may, it's made and sold at Dollar General is made from ground up tilapia from China that's poison. I don't Jesus. know. I don't know what else to tell you. There's got to be one more thing we could throw in there, <laughs> a trifecta. Um, all right. <laughs> anyway, let's go to Florida. Florida? But that's America's wing. After purchasing a meatball sandwich for his nephew, a Florida man poured Visine all over the food. No! That's a huge no-no. Which was laterally partially consumed by his relative. Yep. His freaking nephew. Yep. You hungry? Hey, Ma! <laughs> can we get some meatloaf? The meatloaf! We want it now! The meatloaf! Ma, the meatloaf! Well, Jesus. Uncle's going to be uh, facing some felony poisoning charges here. James Leach, 45, was at a market uh, Wednesday evening. He asked an employee for a bottle of Visine due to him having dry eyes. Upon securing the Visine, he opened a container of food and proceeded to pour the eyedrop solution all over the meatball sandwich. <laughs> the worker declared, hey, that liquid could hurt someone. Leach reportedly replied that it would only cause the victim to snit himself and puke his brains out. God, I feel bad even talking about this because you know somebody's going to do it. Um, I don't think our the people that listen to this program would do that. Soak your Christmas ham and Visine and watch the well, fun. Yeah. Uh, Tetrahydrazoline yeah. hydrochloride yeah. Uh, can kill you. Yeah. It's lethal. Um, which is why you're puking and snitting your brains out because right. it's a poison. Um, the market employee who described Leach as a regular customer said the suspect had issues with his nephew. Oh, no. And declared that he hated his kin. 
Leach and the victim reside together and have a long history of domestic related issues. Well, isn't the nephew going to be suspicious when uncle that you don't get along with brings you a meatball sandwich? I'd be like, hmm, what is this about? Visine meatball sandwich is my yeah. new death metal band name. Mm-hmm. Um, so the cops know this dude. They've been to the Paris house a million times. So the employee dropped the dime on a uh, good old buddy boy here. Police reviewed the store security footage, which clearly shows Leach dousing the meatball sandwich with a visine. I mean, like a drop will do it. Yeah, right. Um, that's why like, uh, dousing it is definitely going to kill somebody. I remember when wedding crashers. Yeah. When, uh, John Beckwith. Put it in, what was his name? Sack? Let's play How Long Does It Take Johnny to Figure Out What <laughs> Happened in the Movie. This is generally a five-minute exercise of futility, so hang out, everybody, and have yourself another donut. I'm going to pay some bills over here. No, Bradley Cooper got Visine by John Beckwith. It's bad. Remember? Remember that? I he was curled up on the toilet. You remember that? I don't. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was the only Visine movie scene, Visine movie poisoning I've ever seen in my life. Well, when police got to Leach's house, which, remember, he shares with his nephew, he declined to answer questions and requested a lawyer. Hey. Yeah. Attaboy. Uh, everybody, don't answer questions and request a lawyer. Everybody, even if you didn't do anything wrong, trust me. Um, the victim was like, I only had a small portion of the meatball sandwich uh, before the cops showed up. He was unaware that Visine had been added to his mil- meal, so he refused treatment. I'm not sure what happened to his bowels li- after that. <laughs> um, yeah, so Leach was charged with the poisoning of food or water, which is a felony. He's got a 50 thou bond. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's so and bad. And he can't contact the victim. His rap sheet includes convictions for improper exhibition of a firearm and resisting or obstructing police without violence. Yeah. Yeah. Man, go poison a stranger. What are you killing your own family for? What a weirdo. I don't understand people. Just move somewhere else. You know? Man. Just move out. Sublease it and I go get a different place. Good old fashioned diarrhea. I'll go to Taco Bell. I don't. You know? I don't need the Visine additive. Well, and like your house is supposed to be where you go. Yep. To relax, you know. And here, both of these folks be going home and not knowing if there's going to be an argument or whatever, and that sucks. Isn't that weird though? That the thing you put in your eyeball can give you a seizure and kill you if you if you eat it on meatballs. Well, I mean, not really when you consider, like, well, a lot of those things are only made for one yeah, purpose. Yeah, it's still weird, though, that your eye, your eye you know, is, yeah. is, is pretty tough, can, can take it. <sighs> but, uh, man. Well. I'm going to make sure my wife isn't out buying Costco Visine. No, our, of, <laughs> no. Our plan is just to have you and Lance fall in love, and uh, then she can then, then it won't get be, the house. Okay. No, I don't need a pallet of visine in my garage. It's very fishy. <laughs> She's googling how to how to poison your asshole husband. Oh, oh. You can learn a lot listening to podcasts. And only three countries in the world don't use the metric system. Or you can listen to this one. I can't remember where I went Friday. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did I do on Friday? I gotta check my calendar. <laughs> If anybody saw me Friday, call the JJO Morning Show Podcast. I literally have no idea where I was Friday. Johnny and D, nowhere but JJO. Okay, you know, uh, my dad always said uh, there's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. Papa! (laughs) Hello, Papa. How is, uh, what's your dad's name? Don. Don Don and Judy, I love them. Doing good. Uh, yeah, my dad has a whole second life I learned about, which is weird. But anyway. Oh, jeez. Yeah, dude. I'm, uh, I he won't ask. Strippers. Okay. Okay, um, so. I am, know. I am your father. <laughs> I've, I always knew I was your father. That's weird. Um, okay, so last December, a uh, dude in Florida was arrested after trying to shoplift from a Walmart while the store was hosting one of those shop with a cop events. 
Um, well, it's happened again. Uh, a 62-year-old woman in Michigan caught trying to shoplift last Saturday. The store was hosting the Shop with a Cop event. 75 officers were there shopping with young kids. I'm not familiar with that. What? You aren't? No. So, yeah, the there's all kinds of different um, efforts for the police departments to be interactive within the community. And one of them is the Shop with a Cop thing. So mm-hmm. they'll be at like a Walmart mm-hmm. or like some local places will do it too, some smaller places. Um, but they'll, so like the kids will come in for whatever, their Christmas shopping, yada, 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 and then the cops shop with them. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That okay. sounds like a community building, a base yeah, pro- but a a program. Team building. Team building. Uh, about 75 officers were there shopping with young kids. A oh. Walmart employee notified one of the cops. They're like, hey, I saw this broad stealing like <laughs> 700 bucks in merchandise. So the trooper followed her out to her vehicle, which... Was parked next to all of the like, patrol vehicles. You like to have 75 guys with guns pulled on your yeah. uh, minivan. So this broad rolled into the Walmart, parked next to all of these patrol vehicles. Right, right. Proceeded to go inside, right. see 75 officers, continue to shoplift anyway. Oh, goodness. And then get out to your car. That's amazing to me. She was arrested and taken to jail. So, okay, hold on. Look at, look at this. I, there's a, a history of it. Uh, there's been people caught shoplifting during Shop with a Cop events um, in 2022, 2019, 2016, 2015, and 2011. All of them at Walmarts. Well, I assume <laughs> she her, her plan was to uh, uh, take advantage of the chaos, maybe, and the fact that everybody's just crazy screaming, kids are going nuts and, and, and happy, and nobody's watching. The, the... Yeah, but to park next to them, right, too. Right, right, right. Like right. what? These are the people. Yeah. All right, lady. Well, you're 62. I don't have much hope for you. Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> you know, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, she's, uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, she, Christmas fever. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. D- d- stupidity. I don't, I don't know. Um. All right. Uh, back in September, 39 year old woman uh, near Cleveland named Rosemary Hain. Hello, Rosemary. Got arrested for throwing a burrito bowl at a Chipotle worker. Oh. She didn't think her bowl was good enough, so she started yelling at the poor girl. Threw it in her damn face. Well, she got thrown in jail for assault. There was photo uh, footage of it that definitely went viral. So this is way back, way back in September, everybody. <laughs> Well, it's back in the news again because she got sentenced last week, um, and the judge did get a little creative. His name is Timothy Gilligan. He gave her 180 days in jail but suspended 90 of those days and offered her a way to lop off another 60. She could avoid two months of jail time if she agreed to get a job working at a fast food place to see what it's like. She has to work there part-time, 20 hours a week for at least two months. She agreed to do it. She's going to start looking for job openings. Yeah. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. The employee that she hit with the burrito bowl is Emily Russell. She was very, very traumatized. Yeah. Um, And so she left the job at Chipotle, but she's got a new gig now. Yeah. Oh. And she is very happy with the judge's sentence. Okay. Nice. Um. What a what a raging C-word. Yeah, yes, it is. Tis the season for raging seawards. Uh, Chipotle, you say Chipotle. Yeah, I chi- like I like that place. Chipotle. I like Chipotle. I think I've only been there once. Really? Mm-hmm. What's your problem? <clears throat> hey, is anybody trying to make this, it over there? What's this chicken place down here on Mineral Point Road? This uh, it's uh, it's where the old shoe company um, office. It's not Dave's cor- Hot, is it? Corporate. I think it's Dave's. Yeah, is it Dave's Hot Chicken? Mm, it might be. What is that? It's a. It's a. It's by the Mod Pizza place over here on Mineral Point Road. Is it? I'm a chicken freak, dude. I think There's I'm gonna. Also... I'm gonna go stop and try that. Anybody recommend that? Is it Dave's Hot? Yeah, I don't know if it is or not. <clears throat> I've had Dave's Hot Chicken before yeah, good. in Vegas. Really? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, pl- nice plug. <laughs> oh. I door dashed it, so it took a long time to get to me. So right. I'm sure it's better if you're there. Right. Um, right. There was another place. Hold on. So, uh, uh, Madtown Chicken and Fish. Has anyone tried that? Where's this at? Uh, there's one on Sherman, one on Raymond. Um, Raymond Road? It's what it says here 6718 Raymond Road. I must be up in the 
Oh, no. I think that's out by the quick trip down uh, at the end of Raymond, the bottom. So, man, yeah, I, I drove past it. And I was like, well, if it's called Madtown Chicken and Fish, it seems like it should be pretty great. Uh, yeah, I used to live down there. God, yeah, I used to walk to that quick trip. So, I think I it's know. in that strip mall down there. There's so many good places. I know. And good it's restaurants just, and it's food trucks. Eventually and, get to them. Yeah. Eventually. It's just, a, it's just a matter of time, really. Yeah. What do you say? We should hit Dave's Chicken today. Okay. Do you like hot stuff? Well, brown bag it out in the car. Uh, Hell yeah. Dave's who? Do what? you Do you like hot stuff? Uh, n- n- not particularly. Not hot. Yeah. Hot. No. Um, I'm sure they have regular chicken. That yeah, isn't. yeah, yeah. I assume that's just not all hot. Can't be. Kind of world would we be in? Uh, something more, more mild chicken seasoning, and please. They just slap you upside the face with a <laughs> Carolina Reaper. They're like, no. And they send me a key, give me a coupon to uh, Papa or Papa. I yeah, say. they're like, go on, I'll get. Yeah, get. <laughs> Replay today, the JJO Morning Show podcast. Get up with Johnny and D. JJO. Is it the vintage that has that sign about uh, unsupervised children will be put to work or something? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, well, there's a reason for that, right? Made in a soup. Mm. It's very tender. Um, Thank you. <laughs> uh, Waukesha Taco John's is banning unsupervised minors because they're a bunch of assholes. <laughs> um, so uh, Taco John's and Waukesha are taking action. <laughs> After what it said were multiple recent events involving unsupervised minors inside the restaurant. Kids running wild. Kids running wild. If I, dude, if I read this stuff about my child, I would be freaking horrified. And I'm sure some of the parents don't even know their kids are being little assholes, which is like, got to be the worst, man. I just. (laughs) Desecrating a Taco John's. How dare you, sir? Um, In a policy posted on his door, Taco John says that the damn kids. Been stealing soda and condiments and leaving huge messes. They've been disrespectful towards staff. They even threw rocks at an employee. Shoot them. <laughs> well, put snipers on the roof. I don't care. Take them out. I. Wow. I'm just stunned. The policy, uh, as posted on the door, states that anyone under the age of 18 must be accompanied by an adult if they want to eat inside. Manager of the restaurant near Grand in Arlington also said the incidents involve kids from Le Paul Middle School, Dude, which what, is... What would Les Paul say if he was alive right now? I uh, know. He would beat him with a guitar, um, which is located across the street. She didn't call police about the incidents because she cool like that. But now it's just... Come on. No, come on! No potato ole for you, a-hole. Mm-mm. You're going to go to bed hungry. Look at that uh, West Coast taco place I ate at out in Tahoe. What did I say it was? Del Taco. Del Taco. Yeah. Dude, Del Taco. My whole fast food space has expanded since I've been traveling. What a burger, Del Taco. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> food of the gods. Del Taco is fantastic. And man, that place was a. <laughs> it looked like a haunted house. It was dirty, it was nasty. <laughs> Some Jesus Christ. Best food I've ever had in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Bad neighborhood just outside the airport. Not pretty. Just wait till you try a taco truck on the coast, man. Your yeah, I know. Be blown. I'm sure. Yeah. Bro. I'm sure. Just, God, expand your horizon a little bit. Dude. Mm-hmm. Stuff's like, might as well call it crack. Now, don't you feel like they they know the kids? If it's the same kids coming over from the Les Paul Middle School. Sure. Oh, I'm sure it, they see him. Is come. it really called the Les Paul Middle School? Yeah. Did I miss that? Yeah. I said Le Paul. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are from Spring Green, so uh, I, I would expect nothing less. It's fancier. Well educated. <laughs> um, mm. <laughs> but uh, they need, they're need. they lucky she didn't call yeah, the like cops a, on them. Like the same little local. You think it wouldn't be that hard. But I, well, I guess as a restaurant, you can refuse service to anybody you want. Sure, sure. So why can't they just be like, no, you can't come in here. You're a turd. You you opened all this hot sauce last time. Dude, or that, whatever. that Baja Blast drives them kids nuts. 
It's the wrong taco place. Oh, it is? Yeah. Whatever. Baja Blast. Is Baja Blast. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. What's their version of Baja Blast? I don't know. I don't know if they're Coke products or what they are. Uh, well, I don't know. If I own that business, I would arm myself or hire a security guard. I, most other places do. Well, you're not going to shoot a middle schooler. No, I'm saying shoot a middle schooler, but I'm a, a taser and a, and a, what 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 else non lethal could you employ? Uh, what, wouldn't it be funny if you were, there was a guy with a German Shepherd sitting uh, at a table right up front and the thing's just snarling at everybody? Is that a support animal? <laughs> you, you'll never know. <laughs> but it's hungry. It hasn't eaten in a week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and if he's having, it says potato ole three times. Oh, no. Your freaking face is gone. That's right. Potato <laughs> ole is the cue to kill. <laughs> Chopper, sick balls. Yep. So where are we at? What do we got to do here? That's it. Yeah. They're banned from the goddamn store. That's it. That's what you get. No ole for you. Yeah, banned for life? No, uncompanied minors. Uh, just all uncompanied minor, right. minors. So Yeah, I, I don't know why you take that's as a teenager, that's your joy, man. Why 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 are you self banning yourself from a taco john? Right. You did it to yourself. That's so dumb. The price point's right. Yeah. Everybody loves that food. Right. And it's convenient for you. And now you got to eat at the cafeteria. That's like crapping on your your school pizza lady. You know what I'm saying? Not the school pizza lady. Well, it's the same thing. Got to be nice to her. It's the same thing. I know. Why the stuff do you like do you destroy? And we're not talking about a handbag here. I'm talking about a $1.29 potato Olay. Well, what if now that they're banned from Taco John's, they start stealing cars? Now what? Well, that's Kia's problem. <laughs> I can't solve all the problems. Just, just trying to say one Taco John at a t- Hi, how's it going? So, this is just a potential solution. Great. But it's bad enough with these young, young they got no manners. Uh, can we just get, it's so bad, there's a quick trip in Janesville that has a sign that only X number of people under 18 can yeah. be in the store at a time. Yep. Or I think it's 15. Can we just get as like a rehumaning process for these <laughs> children? They're like just feral. Like quick trips on the corner of every middle school. Is that like going through the metal detector at an airport? You get rehumanized. How right. does that work? Do we do we put emotion? <laughs> do we do we do we uh, uh, X-ray emotion back into people? I don't know how we do that. Well, can we get the employees at these quick trips to be so nice? Yeah. That it shames these kids into behaving like actual human beings <laughs> and not little monsters. The JJO Morning Show podcast. With Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Catch a new show every Monday through Friday, 6 till 10 a.m. on 941 JJO or streaming anywhere in the JJO app. Johnny and D. Nowhere but JJO.